happening. Welcome back to another video, guys. Yeah. Right, so we're here at the lovely Centre Parks. I'm here today to make a video that I wanted to make for a while. And my reasons behind making this video is sort of because I'm loving putting out loads of content to you guys. And at the minute I'm putting out loads of lifestyle vlogs um, and sort of training and stuff like that. Um, but no videos to sort of get my name out there in terms of if people don't know who I am or haven't found the channel yet then they're not going to click on my vlogs so I want to try and make a few videos that will get my name out there a bit better so if you have any video ideas for that please let me know because that will help the channel out massively and it's something I'm passionate about and it's something I do want to really really grow so what I'm going to talk to you today is things that I wish I knew when I first started lifting right so tip one brand new lifter newbie say 16 17 18 just started going to the gym the first thing I would say is try and find a training program, try out a tr few training programs, and run a training program. Don't go into the gym just hitting arms one day, chest the next day, shoulders the next day, or even a bit of arms in that one, a bit of chest in that one, a bit of back in that one, because you can have no structure. If you have no structure, you're gonna make no gains, or you will make newbie gains, but you won't optimize the gains that you'll be making. So yeah, get straight in, find a program, Ideally squat bench and deadlift in a program like that CNS. Find something that you enjoy that you'll get results off and do that because I can tell for a fact that the first sort of year and a half of my lifting, I would go in there, I would train whatever I fancied on whatever day. No real structure, so no real gains made. And I sort of missed out a year and a half, which uh, wasn't ideal. Point two would be, following on from that point, don't skip leg day. We all hear myths and all hear don't you don't need to train legs or don't or don't skip leg day blah blah. I skip leg day for about a year and I'm still severely paying the price. So yeah, don't skip leg day. Leg day is that myth that you like release endorphins or something when you train legs so it helps your upper body grow. I don't know about that, that's all bullshit. But you look like a fool if you're walking on the beach with skinny legs and a big upper body. So just train legs, don't be a fool. Point number three is track your calories. Now, a lot of people get really scared by tracking their calories and they think tracking calories is really, really advanced. It's not, it's simple. Use my fitness pal. Get in a calorie surplus because when you're a newbie lifter, you're not really gonna have anything to cut down for. So, if you are training loads, building all that new muscle, you need to be make sure you're eating enough protein and counting your calories, being in that surplus and making the most and optimizing your newbie gain. So yeah, count your calories on my fitness pal. Get in a calorie surplus and just eat a shitload of protein, okay? It's really, really simple. If you want me to do a video on how to track your calories as a newbie lifter, let me know below and I'll do it. It's really, really simple. Okay, tip four is something that I was very, very worried about when I first joined the gym, and that is what other people think of me. Um, in terms of, I didn't really want to go into the weights heavy, I didn't want to lift heavy because I was too scared of all the big boys in the gym, and uh, yeah, and that, and I didn't want to be doing it wrong but don't don't be afraid like watch videos online of how to do stuff make sure your form is good before you start lifting weights that's really really important don't go in there and start benching 100 kilos when you can't even do it properly and just doing little quarter reps make sure your forms on point it's it's well set up nice and clean and then you can start to progress them but don't be afraid to go and get in the weight sections and lift the small weights because everyone has to start somewhere and that's something you have to remember and that's something I was worried about. I was just smashing resistant machines for ages like in the corners of the rooms because I was too scared to go and use the free weights. So don't be scared to use the free weights. Be nice and confident in the gym. Um, and the gym is a friendly environment. Everyone should be should be willing to help you out. So if I've ever seen someone struggle or anything, I would always help them out. So yeah, if, you're like, if you feel like that in your gym, don't be afraid to go and well, either help a newbie out or uh, ask for help because they'll always help you out. So the key points I want you to take away from this video are if you're new to the gym getting that calorie surplus make sure you're eating a high amount of protein i reckon one i recommend one gram per pound of body weight to 1.4 so anywhere between that region ideally see at 1.2 that's perfect so i'm about 170 pounds times that by 1.2 and that's about the amount of protein you should be eating especially as a newbie lifter so eat your protein count your calories get in the calorie surplus that's the nutritional side of it in terms of training 
don't skip fucking leg day find a training program that works for you enjoy your training and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it and they are the main things that i wish i did when i first started lifting we are four years down the line and we've made the boys made some fucking gains but yeah this video is coming through for scent box it's like nine in the morning and it's already boiling so i'm gonna go home my well home go back to the lodge thing eat some food chill out and i'm probably making a center box vlog or a center box edit I haven't decided yet but make sure if you enjoyed this video hit subscribe hang around for more let me know for other videos in below and hopefully i'll see you next one